Reclaimed water provides about 10% of our city's overall water supply every year. So it's a critical part of our overall water portfolio. Reclaimed water is water that has been used by people and has gone through water treatment and is then either further treated or was treated enough that it can then be used uh, again. It's important to use recycled water in the desert because water is relatively scarce. The more times we can use it, the better off we are. Until the early 2000s, Tucson was the largest city in North America that was dependent entirely on groundwater, which meant that we have always had to be very cautious and proactive about how we manage water resources. In the early, late 70s and early 80s, Tucson became one of the first uh, cities to establish a reclaimed water system so that we could take the water that we were using and recycle it, use it again, especially for things like golf courses and other large turf areas. Tucson Water is recognized as a leader in the use of reclaimed water. First, because we were one of the first communities to undertake it on a large scale. Second, because we have one of the largest systems in, in the country. We have about 195 miles of pipe we have over a thousand customers. We have 15 boosters and we can deliver over 30 million gallons a day of reclaimed water to our customers. Another reason that we're recognized as a leader is that we uh, are not just using it for irrigating turf. We have created other facilities such as Sweetwater Wetlands, which is a, an area where we take reclaimed water and we recharge it into the ground uh, in the winter time when there's less use, there's less demand on the system. And then we pump that water out to add capacity to our system in the summertime when there's high demand. And what we did in that area is we created a, a wetlands environment that we actually ran the water through to help uh, clean and purify water that was coming out of that plant. And that area is now the number one birding destination in urban Tucson. And it supports a, you know hundreds of bird species, all supported by reclaimed water. In 2019, we took a portion of our reclaimed water and we began discharging it into the Santa Cruz River near downtown. We call that the Santa Cruz River Heritage Project and it's taken the dry bed of the Santa Cruz River and returned water to the part of, of that river where there originally was water, where Tucson was originally settled by Native Americans thousands of years ago. And so now we have plants returning, small trees, birds, butterflies. Uh, there's a river coming back to life because we have enough reclaimed water that we can use it for these kinds of multiple benefit projects. We've had many people come from around the country and around the world to look at our system and learn about what we do with reclaimed water. Recycling water, it's just like uh, recycling that everybody else understands. It saves energy, it saves water, it saves all kinds of resources in a desert city or really in any city to be recycling water and using it again and making the most of it. Also, reclaimed water is something that we use as an investment in our quality of life. So we use reclaimed water to bring habitat back to our rivers and wetlands. We also use it to irrigate our street trees and our golf courses and our parks. So all those green and wonderful lush things that we'd like to have in the desert, this is one of the most sustainable sources of water uh, to be able to have that. More than half of the users of reclaimed water are golf courses. Any new golf course that's built in Tucson has to be on reclaimed water, and the vast majority of our golf courses are. Other big users are parks and schools, and we do have a few neighborhoods where they have hooked into the reclaimed system and they use that for landscape irrigation. We just completed a project called the South Houghton Area Recharge Project, which created more 
recharge basins, places where we can take excess reclaimed water and recharge it into our aquifer on the east side of town. What that does is it brings that water uh, out to a whole different part of town where we can store it for future use. And it's also created a, a park-like environment uh, out there for people living in that area. Our plans for the reclaimed water system are to try to expand it strategically in areas where we need more trees and vegetation in the city. That's a big uh, effort that our entire city is undertaking, which is building our urban forest and reclaimed water can be an important part of that. And just continuing to make sure that we're taking advantage of every drop. Um, in the past, we had so much recycled water that we would let some sort of just flow out of our area. And now we are taking advantage of all of it. And we wanna be able to continue to do that.